Hey yo everyone, this is Grant Kiss here. Today we're going to be going through the top 10 Black Ops 1 Zombies guns. However, there's been a lot of really good guns in Black Ops 1 Zombies. Sit tight everyone as we're going to go for our number 10 spot. Before we head on to this list, I just want to mention that there'll be no wonder weapons on this list. So no ray gun, no thunder gun, no wave gun or whatever. So coming at number 10 we have the Python. The Python is a very good weapon for those early rounds. It's a very powerful pistol and because it's a pistol it has brilliant mobility. Recoil is a bit dodgy and it's great lasting for until about round 15. Obviously it's not good for points because it's just a pistol but it's a nice way to sit on our number 10 spot. Coming at number 9 we have the classic MP40, it's appeared in 5 Zombies games, World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 and even Black Ops 4, although it's named different than Black Ops 4 but it's technically the same thing. The MP40 has been a favourite for in Call of Duty fans over the years and it's an absolute classic of a weapon. Amazing for points, it's got a nice bit of recoil into it, even better with double tap. And its mobility is okay. When you pack a punch it becomes the afterburner. Although personally I think it's better when it's non pack a punch because I feel it's not worth pack a punch in it. Since it only goes to about what 32 plus in your clip. Coming at number 8 we have the AK-74U. Another gun that's appeared in multiple games. It's appeared in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 in Zombies Chronicles. It's got a faster rate of fire. Not gonna lie, it runs out of ammo pretty quickly, which kind of sucks. It's a great gun for those starting rounds, and it's even better when it's pack a punch. It's a submachine gun, so it's great for mobility as well. That's a nice fitting spot for our number 8 spot. Coming at number 7, which is a bit of a dodgy one, we have the HK21. Now, not gonna lie, not a lot of people like this gun. To be honest with you, I don't really like this weapon, to be honest with you. The only reason why I put it on here is because of its ammo count as a light machine gun. Now obviously the rate of fire sucks, especially when you don't have double tap 1 onto it. Now also when you get double tap 1 it actually becomes insanely good. But yeah it kind of sucks how you have to spend 2000 points to make this gun better. But when you do it's a very powerful LMG. It's great for taking down zombies on those later rounds. I know a lot of you don't really want to be reminded of this gun but sometimes we just have to put it on this list. Obviously, like, it's an LMG, so the mobility is going to suck ass. And coming in at number 6, we have my personal favourite weapon to use on Kina the Totem especially. We have the M16. So, why is the M16 listed above the guns like HK21, AK-74U, MP40 and all them lot? I love its pack punch form, which is called the Skull Crusher. It goes from an insane 3 bullet burst rifle, to an absolute powerhouse of a full assault rifle. The damage it does is absolutely amazing and it's a war weapon as well so it's, that's always amazing. I always use this weapon if I want to go for those high rounds and to me it's an excellent spot on number 6. Coming at number 5 we have a bit of a strange one. I have put in the Spaz 12 at number 5. This is the best shotgun in Black Ops 1 Zombies. Never forget the stakeout, the stakeout is absolute trash of a shotgun. Doesn't compare to Spaz 12. Fuck off. But what I love about the Spaz 12 is it's pack a punch form. It becomes the Spaz 24. Great deal of damage, great fire rate, and it's actually got a really good mobility, which is always nice. You don't put one bullet out every single time, it just comes in with one full clip. Yeah, so to be honest, you don't really need speed colder for this weapon. Coming at number 4, we have the fan favourite AUG. Now, the AUG is a very powerful assault rifle. It does amazing deal of damage, players love adding double tap 1 to this bad boy of a weapon. The pack a punch form is amazing, but it has like a shotgun attached to it, so I think it's called the master key, I can't remember though. And I think it gives you like 40 like bullets into that. Players get excited seeing this weapon appear from the box and always take it that first hand, unless, unless if they already have the Galil RPK or whatever. And yes, it's a nice fitting on our number 4 spot. Coming at number 3 we have my personal favourite weapon to get from the box, it's the Commando. Personally I prefer this weapon over the Galil. The Commando has a great deal of damage, amazing fire rate, more enjoyable to use than the Galil personally. When it's pack a punch it becomes the Predator, but yeah it's got enough ammo, 
and it's got great mobility as well so that's always nice coming at number two we have the rpk it's without a doubt the best lmg on this list even though there are only two lmgs in black ops 1 zombies but yeah why does this appear above the hk21 well i'll tell you why for me it's the fire rate the fire rate is way better than the hk21 for me i think it does better damage now before we go for our number one pick, I want to list a few honourable mentions. So the first honourable mention I have on this list today is the Olympia. Now, a few people might, might be shocked of why I put the Olympia as an honourable mention, but the reason why is because of its pack punch form. Obviously, the non pack punch form is shit. Absolute shit. I mean, like, it's fun to use, but it's, it's just it's not it's not a great weapon to use. But when you pack a punch it, it becomes fairly good. It deals with a great deal of damage when it when it's pack punched, shooting out an absolute fireball ledge coming out of a dragon's arse. And then for a second honourable mention, I've put the crossbow. And why have I put the crossbow as well? Obviously, the, the non pack punch form is ridiculous. It's absolute dog shit. I do not recommend using this when you're not going to pack punch it. Look at that. The crossbow pack punched is very good tactical wise. It works like a monkey bomb in a way. In fact, I think it does better damage than the monkey bomb. Yeah, so just watch this clip here. And you just get out of an easy situation like that. It's absolutely phenomenal level weapon. So what is the best Black Ops 1 zombies gun? Well, obviously, it's the Galil. Everyone loves the Galil. Everyone just never doubts it when they get it from the box. It does a great deal of damage. It's got amazing fire rate. Even better when it's pack a punched which is called the lamentation it's got great iron sights i mean yeah just look at this clip of how amazing this gun is so yeah this has been the top 10 black ops 1 zombies guns hopefully you've enjoyed it subscribe to grant guess if you haven't already please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later take care guys